So, there is going to be double range crossbows and an early university from Yi. He already has the second TC up by now. And you can see that Richard is going to be late with that. University is up for ballistics for himself as well. So, we'll continue with some archer fights. To no one's major surprise, I would say. Anyways, eco numbers still benefiting uh, Richard a tiny bit, but I still... I'm fairly certain that uh, we might not have wheelbarrow for Richard, or for Richard, yeah. It just feels so weird that he's having uh, that big Voyager lead this early in the game. So I would say that there is a high chance that he doesn't have... Uh, doesn't have wheelbarrow. Anyways... I think it's time uh, for uh, some aggressiveness maybe from Blue. Uh, let's see. Meanwhile, I'm also noticing that he is uh, missing ballistics still. How did he actually miss ballistics for this long? Like, he constructed university way faster than what we have seen from uh, Richard, and he ends up having a later ballistics. That's a bit of a mistake here, because, well, with that, he's gonna be in the danger. Anyways, a ballistics will arrive just enough for him, and a fairly aggressive DC on their gold mine, as we do have some crossbows looping around, trying to bash their way in. In fact, a few villagers will evacuate from the woodland and farms, but no major damage was done, if I'm not mistaken. I don't see any corpses, so there is indeed no damage done. Um, Admiral Yi has noticed that the crossbows are on the right side, bashing through the walls. He's just evacuated the villagers. So, um, DC up here on the front, and you also have uh, two additional ones for Admiral Yi for a total of three. And he's smashing through the forces of uh, Richard over here on the left side. Plus one, plus two for both sides, so it's a fairly even fight in terms of upgrades. And for now, Admiral Yi just wants to do damage to his opponent here. Plus one, plus two for both sides, so it's a fairly even fight in terms of upgrades. And for now, Admiral Yi just wants to do damage to his opponent here. Three down centers for Richard as well, alongside the defensive siege workshop. As on the right side, we also have a decent uh, matchup here. Admiral Yi is just smashing through the forces of Richard right now. Voyager counts dead even, but military numbers seem to favor Admiral Yi right now as he also appears to have a bit more map control for himself. So, for Admiral Yi, he could just start harassing the woodlands here. In fact, neither of the woodlands for Richard are super, super safe. Somehow a spearman got inside, I have no idea how. Maybe the gate was opened, I can imagine that, but if you take a look at this enveloping move, this is beautiful from, Richard, uh, from Admiral Yi. He's harassing the woodland on the right side with the crossbows, and simultaneously, he's gonna push the left side as well, basically pushing away from his opponent from all accessible wood right now. Um, Richard still has some lumberjacks around here and here, but this is horribly inefficient right now, taking that straggler tree instead of, uh, like, taking the wood line over here, which, which would be much more efficient. And there's gonna be four residual craft from Admiral Yi. Um, three ranges now for Richard, so he would have a decent production, as I do see only two ranges coming up from Yi. Five on stone makes me believe that we are getting closer and closer to a forward castle at some time. Uh, we are having way more stone voyagers from Richard, though, so it's already... Uh, what is that? It's seven villagers on stone, so I would assume that he wants to drop a defensive castle at some time as well. The other game, harassment on the left side moving inside as uh, Richard will add TC number uh, four here. Beautiful mango shot coming in from uh, Richard, and there is going to be the counter mango coming up from Admiral Yi. I like how this uh, siege workshop, by the way, is on top of this little hill here. That is going to help out protecting it quite a bit. And you're going to have archer fights coming in here. Identical upgrades for the two players, but it appears that uh, Richard does have the numbers advantage here. So this is not really something that Admiral Yi can fight against, especially considering that he's getting torn apart before he will even engage. So I think this is uh, the moment when you're cornered, you just want to trade your crossbows to the opponent's crossbows over here. Uh, meanwhile, in the middle, that's a beautiful um, attempt to kill that mango. Indeed, that is going to happen. Admiral Yi not losing his own mango while trading off uh, basically just a few HP for the mango of Richard over here. But... Meanwhile, on the left side, Admiral Yi has lost considerable amounts of crossbowmen. So, this Voyager is meant to repair this uh, Manganol, and let's see. I don't think that Admiral Yi can do any major damage to Voyagers. Maybe he can pick off like one or two here, but it's really just a minor amount of Voyagers being picked off. And Richard piling up more and more crossbows inside his ranges. This is an interesting thing. He's seen, not sending them out directly. He's just piling them up right now. Meanwhile, interesting to point out that Admiral Yi... Despite the fact that they have identical Voyager counts, Admiral Yi has uh, enough resource to pick up the Imperial. Meanwhile, Richard has basically nothing. He's committing 8 Voyagers to stone. 
A 9 voyages is the commitment from Admiral Yi, who is clicking up the Imperial just now. How is this even possible that Admiral Yi had so much better eco? He was faster to cast late, so he did pop out villagers a bit faster, probably had his upgrades a bit faster as well. But this is still a major advantage for uh, a player that uh, did not really do a lot of damage to Richard's eco. Like, Richard did take some beating, had some idle time on Lumberjacks, but basi basically, aside from that, there was no major harm done. Now, it appears that Richard wants to loop around and get some voyager picks over here on the left side, meanwhile the middle seems to be a stalemate, even though Richard does have the numbers. I think this is the perfectly fine for Admiral Yi, because he's gonna have Orblasts very soon available to him, and probably will be accompanied by a forward castle. Um, Okay-ish castle, I would say. Would have been better, I think, if you go for hit this one uh, until you or after you reach Imperial, because you will have the military superiority for a more aggressive castle. This is more about of a um, defensive castle, I would say, but it's nicely on the hill. And it's gonna be actually quite decent, because the defensive castle here from Richard will be over here. Uh, for now, this castle will be stopped, which is going to delay uh, quite considerably here from Admiral Yi. So even though he started constructing his castle faster, his opponent will have the castle up first. However, like I said, major advantage going into Imperial for Admiral Yi, and that means he's going to have traps faster. You can see that uh, Richard is just piling up his resources going into Imperial, and that is going to be like about the four minutes of a difference in between the Imperial age times of the players. That is at minimum two traps for Admiral Yi to start shutting this castle down. And he will also have Arblasts available um, to him here. He already has uh, four ranges to work with, meanwhile, four ranges there as well for Richard, but he's just gonna have crossbows. He has plus two, plus two. Um, same are the upgrades for Admiral Yi here, but what really matters is the imp time right now. Slight advantage in eco counts for Richard, but uh, that is not something that can help you overcome a such big deficit in terms of uh, military units now. He Thing is that Richard can take the, still take this fight because the upgrades are still even. So this is why Richard is so aggressive here. He wants to make sure he can get some value for his crossbows before his opponent would actually get the upgrades. And uh, interestingly, uh, we are missing out on our blast upgrade coming up from Admiral Yi. So we might end up having two canoes here and not going for our blasts. Bracer is on the way, and now with Bracer, this is supposed to be a better fight for Admiral Yi. But there is a bunch of mangonels coming in, and that's a lot of villagers picked off over here. So I would say that Richard has taken a fairly decent fight over here. He's still far from Imperial, but he has 14 Voyagers lead, and so far, Admiral Yi couldn't use his Imperial Age advantage at all, to be honest. There's gonna be a first castle being set up, as it appears that there was a sneaky Voyager from Admiral Yi. I'm not sure what his plan was with the house here, but this ultimately failed. So, second trap coming in very soon, and the Arbalest upgrade on the way as well. Elite Skirms in the making for uh, Richard, so he has to incorporate a few Skirms into this uh, army. And I wonder if that is going to be the case for Admiral Yi, or is he planning to just add a few onagers to deal with this one? But he will need an answer to those skirmishers very soon. For now, this is not something that Richard can actually something that Richard can actually fight. That could be a beautiful mango shot, but ultimately missing. And I feel like what Richard wants to achieve here, he wanted to loop around and get into the eco by the time he reaches Arbalest. Nice snipes there from Admiral Yi, picking off two mangonels. And there's going to be another defensive castle coming up from Admiral Yi. I like that quite a bit. It secures the southern part of. Uh, I don't know Yi's base, but he's still open on the right side. I want to take a look at something while we are not having any kind of fighting here in the middle. Is that Admiral Yi is missing out on the right side Goldman over here, which could be a crucial piece of information uh, for him in the future. So, yeah, that's not great. He does see the Goldman on the left, though, but not seeing a neutral Goldman is going to hurt him in the long run. He's going to TC the other secondary uh, gold just now. And the castle goes down from Richard. That is going to hurt him quite a bit because, uh, well, that means no two canoes. More importantly, that means no traps coming up here very soon. I don't think that Richard was able to get conscription out of that castle. So, basically, losing that castle is going to hurt him quite a bit because now Admiral Yi can go for conscription and that is going to give him an overall bigger advantage against a player without conscription. So, meanwhile... Skirmishers, though, is not something that Admiral Yi has any kind of answer to, unless he starts mixing some Onagers, and that is exactly what we are actually seeing here. Onager is a bit later arriving, so these Mangonols could be still snapped down, but for now, it appears that uh, Richard is just playing very, very defensive, and he's got a fairly okay engagement against those Arblasts here. He still has the Arbs to snap down Mangos, but once Onagers arrive, this is going to be a tough one for Richard to handle. Um, the Brax is going to go down, but more importantly, um... Overall, if the archer ranges start going down, this could be a trouble coming up for uh, for Richard. Now, for Admiral Yi, I could make an argument for mixing a few light cavalry to deal with those skirmishers. That could be a decent idea. Onagers work quite as well, but um, you could use... Oh man, that could have been a big shot. 
Still, onagers. Oh man, one onager goes down, but you can still land a decent shot. No seeing these guys, so... 8 range orbs can still do decent damage to them from a decent range. Still, two of those onagers alive. Onagers can't really get into combat, so I think this is still an okay one here for Richard. In fact, this is a quite decent one. He's using... Oh, man. I just jinxed it. I jinxed it so hard. There is the big boom happening. And even with the two onagers going down, this is going to be a major advantage now for Admiral Yi here. Um, he doesn't have a considerable amount of uh, military advantage, but... When you already start pushing here, there is going to be the skirmishers being mixed in as well for Admiral Yi. Um, Siege Ram is going to be the answer from Richard, but against Onagers, that will not work very, very exceptionally. And like I said, Admiral Yi could just start mixing a few Light Cavalry um, to deal with this one. So, there is going to be a bunch of Rams coming in, mostly kept Rams with Siege Rams. There is the first uh, stable coming up for a few Light Cavalry. But still, these Light Cavalry is just more about sniping on the Onagers right now, but I feel like... Richard is just too late with this one. He's already getting heavily 